Hi, I'd like to introduce you to the demidulator. It's a uh, MIDI controlled 8-bit digital synthesizer and audio sampler. Uh, it's powered by either three AAA batteries or there's a DC power jack or a programming header for the PIC, which serves as the heart of this thing. Uh, so let's see what it sounds like. I'm using a Rock Band 3 keyboard because that's what I have. And I think it's a fine little device. So um, this has three waveform modes. It has a sine wave, a square wave, and an audio sample playback. So it starts up in, in sine wave mode. And that's what it sounds like. It's, uh, it's pretty smooth and airy. Uh, it supports all of the MIDI notes. Some better than others, but all of the ones you want to play, it supports well. So that's what sine wave sounds like. To switch the waveform mode, uh, this button closest to the LEDs does that. Or you can use MIDI program change to do it. So I can cycle through the waveform modes with this button here. We're back to sign now. Or I can use program change. I can increase the program number to move in this direction or decrease the program number to move in this direction. So I'm going to stop on square wave. And this is what square wave sounds like. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty fat sounding square wave. There are also uh, these two potentiometers on the back. This one's a volume control, and this one is a frequency cutoff. It doesn't have a, a super dramatic effect, but it does make the sound electronic. It also does decrease the volume as you roll off some of the frequencies, so you might have to compensate with volume. Uh, so that's square wave. And uh, the third, the third waveform is uh, audio sample playback. So this allows you to record your own custom audio sample and play that back. Uh, just like you can sign sign in square waves. So there's there's two ways to record audio. There's this four conductor headphone uh, headset jack right here. Uh, I realized that was out of frame. Sorry. Um, you can it's compatible with uh, an iPhone earbuds with inline mic. It actually works really well with that. Or any compatible headset should be fine. And you use the switch to select between that or an onboard microphone. The onboard microphone's uh, a little noisy, but I'm going to use it today because I have the audio going directly into a mixer and you won't be able to hear it if I plug the iPhone headset into it. So I'm just going to record a sample. And uh, the way that I do that is this middle button right here is the, uh, is the record button. So I press it and you can probably hear me. It just routes the audio through to the output while you're holding the button. And then as soon as you let go of the button, it starts recording. And to stop the sample, you can either let the entire four seconds of sampling time run out, or you can send it a MIDI note on message, uh, which means you just need to press a key on the keyboard to stop the sample. So that's what I'll do. This is my sample. And the octave is really high. This is my sample. This is my sample. So this is my sample. This, this is my sample. This is my sample. And uh, the circuit starts up in polyphonic mode for all waveforms. And that's also true for the sample mode. This is my sample. So the way that it deals with the audio playback is pretty much the same way it deals with the other wave shapes is This is my 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 as the as the note increases, it 
it increases the speed of playback for the, the sample. Um, another thing all of these wave shapes have is a uh, they support pitch bend, or my interpretation of pitch bend, what it should be in an idealized world. Uh, and Rock Band Keyboard supports this if you hold down this button and touch the touch strip. So this is pitch band on a, an audio phrase. <laughs> Uh, and on sign and square uh, so each each waveform uh, also has two sub modes and as soon as you switch that mode it's universal across all of them uh, this last button here s selects the mode so we have polyphonic the LED is steady. Sustain mode, the LED blinks relatively slow. Here we go. I'm doing a really good job. And this is um, monophonic mode when the LED is blinking really fast. So for sustain mode, we can hold uh, a couple of notes. In polyphonic mode, there's it's four note polyphony, by the way. And we go into sustain mode take our hands off the notes and they'll stay playing. So they're taking up two oscillators right now. We have two more to play with. Um, so you press mode again. And again, uh, if you switch waveform right now, it will just keep, keep the sustain going and change the sound. cancel that mode and now it's in monophonic mode. So it only plays one note at a time in this mode. Ah, I made this little ditty for the square wave mode. Uh, unfortunately, all of the music I make on a keyboard or other electronic instrument sounds like a theme for a video game and this is no exception. I, this is a racing game, maybe? Checkpoint. doesn't work. Uh. Uh, so that's monophonic, and that's that applies to all waveforms. Uh, and like I said, as you move through waveforms, it keeps the it keeps the mode alive. Uh, for moving into sustain mode, you can also use MIDI sustain pedal message. The Rock Band keyboard supports that. I just have a stop switch here connected to. Uh, TRS cable to tip and sleeve plugged into the pedal port. So you can hold two notes, press this button, you'll see the LED indicates that it's a sustain mode. Um, now when you control sustain mode with, when you control sustain mode with a MIDI message, when you you disable sustain, it goes back into polyphonic mode. Um, I, I think that makes sense. I just couldn't do it with the button because it wouldn't work. So uh, I've had a lot of fun with the audio sample feature. I think that's the that's the the coolest feature of this thing because um, you can you can make a lot of unique sounds. One of the things I have done is uh, so because it it plays back at the rate you recorded it for middle C. Um, I sometimes just record just a, as, as much as I can manage for a steady tone that uh, mimics middle C and uh, record that as a sample. So I go to square wave, I hit middle C, I try to make that tone and then move over to sample and hit record. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, perfect pitch. Unbelievable. So now
now I have an audio sample that is in the ballpark of middle C for square and sine waves. So I'll hold it down. Here, it's close. Uh, so then you can play this, and it just sounds like another keyboard sample. Uh, the only thing with sample mode is when you add the fourth oscillator, it distorts. Uh, I had to do that to to make it uh, equally mixed as as the sine and square waves are. But it can be a cool effect. Uh, so uh, monophonic for the sample mode is is kind of unique from the others. Uh, I'm going to record a, just a phrase and I'll show you how it works in monophonic mode. This is my sample. This is my sample. Okay, so so now I'm going to go to monophonic mode and instead of starting a new sample when I hit additional keys, um, turning on another oscillator, it's just going to modulate the one oscillator. This is my sample. 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 So if you record a phrase that's uh, relatively flat in its inflection, you can give it inflection through the modulation. This is my sample. This is Who doesn't like robots, right? This is my sample. This is my sample. This is my sample. This is my sample. Uh, right. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, there's there's one other fun thing that I discovered in in sample mode in, in polyphonic mode. Uh, you can talk and keep keep, keep just sampling uh, and pressing the keyboard, and it has a very cool voice effect. I might try to exploit this and make something more controlled, but uh, it's interesting. Any Oh yeah, you record a really short sample, that's what it sounds like. That's it. Thanks.